This is Tomo News for Wednesday, March 29th. Toxic Tush Doc gets 10 years for illegal butt injections. A bogus plastic surgeon in Miami who injected a toxic concoction of fix a flat and super glue into a patient's posterior has been sentenced to time in the slammer. O'Neill Ron Morris appeared in court on Monday and said she took a plea deal so she wouldn't have to face a jury trial. Morris, who's a transgender woman, was sentenced to 10 years in prison and five years of probation. She will serve her sentence in a male penitentiary. The fake doctor reportedly pumped women's backsides full of a formula of cement, mineral oil, bathroom chalk, and fix a flat tire sealant. One of the procedures carried out by the toxic tush doc led to the death of Shatarka Nubi, who died while serving time in a Tallahassee prison. The judge also heard from several other victims about how they became sick after getting injected with what they thought was medical grade silicone. Police said Morris made a business out of performing such cheap and dangerous cosmetic procedures. Phew, that was close. 21 lucky bus passengers in China got a real sinking feeling when a giant hole in the ground almost gobbled them up. The 10 foot wide and 10 foot deep sinkhole opened up on a bus lane in the southern city of Nanning last Friday, just moments after the vehicle passed over it. The narrow escape was captured on CCTV. As you can see from the video, the passengers get a bit of a bumpy ride just moments before the sinkhole appears. The driver of a second bus following behind then slams on the brakes to avoid the massive gaping hole in the road. Footage from aboard the first bus shows just how close its passengers came to being swallowed. Yep, we're gonna bet there were probably more than a few soiled undergarments on that bus. According to the cops, one of the city's subway lines runs under the road where the sinkhole was found. The bus lane was immediately closed for repairs so the authorities could investigate what happened. China is no stranger to sinkholes. There have been several reports of the giant craters appearing without warning at various locations around the country in recent years. Sinkholes commonly occur when rock below the land surface is naturally dissolved by circulating groundwater, causing the land surface to collapse suddenly. Man crushed to death by train crossing railway platform. A man in Nanjing, China made the fatal mistake of crossing a railway platform while an oncoming train was pulling into the station. Unfortunately for him, he didn't die immediately and had to endure a tremendous amount of suffering over the final few minutes of his life. On March 26th, commuters awaiting their train noticed the man hop off one platform and walk over to the next. He must not have noticed the massive train coming toward him, and though he managed to get the top half of his body on the platform, his bottom half didn't make it in time, and he was crushed. In a cruel twist, he did not die and could only wail in agony as others called for help while he was trapped. Firemen raced over with a jackhammer to try to drill the man out and pull him to safety, but by the time he was loose, the damage was done. The man was later pronounced dead at the scene. Due to YouTube's guidelines on violent or graphic content, we can't show you video of the accident here, but it's available on our website via the link in the description. What a way to go. Mi amor. I think we're on TV now. Unfortunately, we can't show you this on YouTube due to its content guidelines. But there's a link in the description to the full version. The couple were filmed in Fragrante Delicto on the balcony of an apartment on Avenue Portugal in the northwestern city of Salamanca. This is the actual apartment, in case you were wondering. The two exhibitionists apparently had so much love inside of them they couldn't wait long enough to take it inside. Someone caught the al fresco action on their cell phone. The video went so viral, it was broadcast on national TV networks Telecinco and Antenia Tres. It's now going viral in Brazil as well. One commenter said it was like the man in the video was singing a song that goes something like this. It's hot, hot. I was waiting for you to sing my song and take that bottle and toast with it. Uh, 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 uh. Another observed that balcony sex might become a trend. We think balcony sex is already a trick. Scientists grow heart tissue on spinach leaves. Maybe Popeye was right all along. Long hailed as a superfood rich in nutrients, researchers have now successfully converted spinach into beating human heart tissue. Scientists at the Worcester Polytechnic Institute in Massachusetts washed spinach leaves with detergent to remove the plant's cells. The process preserves the plant's vascular system, which the researchers then seeded with cardiac tissue. 
After several days, the leaves began to beat like a heart. The scientists then passed dye through the plant's network of veins in what they say is proof of concept that spinach has the potential to transport blood. The researchers said they believe spinach could be used in the future to treat patients with heart problems, possibly by grafting spinach implants onto damaged heart tissue. Gone Too Soon A fun, carefree day at the beach turned tragic after a freak accident took the life of a 14-year-old girl Saturday afternoon. The horrific incident occurred at Oregon's South Jetty Beach as Aurora Shuffle and a friend posed for photos atop a log on the surf. Her pal had just jumped off when a wave hit the log, causing Shuffle to fall and hit her head and neck. The heavy waterlogged trunk then rolled over her legs, pinning her down. As her two friends frantically tried to lift the log, more water came in and rolled the massive piece of wood over her body. Bystanders eventually managed to free the young cheerleader, but it was too late. Sheffel was pronounced dead at a local hospital. A happy straight-A student, the teen was loved by many in her Eugene, Oregon community. A GoFundMe account set up to pay for funeral expenses has already collected over $9,000, nearly double the original goal of $5,000. Teacher busted for sharing alcohol, weed, and bodily fluids with student. A high school art teacher in Brooksville, Florida is rethinking her lesson plan after police were alerted to the extra credit assignments she'd issued to one of her students. 34-year-old Valerie Valvo was keen on a 17-year-old male student in her class, possibly seeing his potential as an artiste. After inviting him over to her home, she served him alcohol to help him relax a bit and set the mood. Then, maybe to inspire his creative senses, she offered him some marijuana and the two got their own little hot box going. Steamy. They engaged in this form of artistic expression on five or six occasions, which is what Valvo admitted to officers on March 22nd. Upon being investigated and charged for three counts of unlawful sexual activity with a minor and one count of contributing to the delinquency of a minor. So what do you think? Is she nasty or nice? Teacher busted for banging boy turns to porn. A former substitute teacher busted for sleeping with a student has decided on a career change. Mary Beth Haglund admitted to having carried on an illicit relationship with a 17-year-old student for six months while she was teaching at Washington High School in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. For some reason, the school fired her when they got wind of the bonathon. Like any normal educator, Haglund turned to stripping after she lost her teaching gig. She was sentenced in February to 90 days in prison, but won't have to report to jail for six months. To kill some time before the slammer, Haglund has turned to a career in adult films. Hey, a girl's gotta make some money, right? The ex-substitute is seen stripping down to her birthday suit on camera as she talks to the porn side about her teaching days. She talks candidly in the video saying, We can totally talk about the controversy that I have around me. Well, let's just say that pictures and videos like these is what got me into trouble in the first place. Thieves steal giant gold coin worth millions. The world's second largest gold coin was stolen from a museum in Germany by thieves who used some pretty old-fashioned methods to get the job done. The big maple leaf coin was issued by the Royal Canadian Mint in 2007 and is worth an estimated 4 million US dollars. The coin was stolen from the Bod Museum in Berlin in the early hours of Monday by at least two thieves who used a ladder to enter the building through a rear window. The 100-kilogram coin was displayed in a bulletproof glass cabinet. The thieves smashed their way in with a heavy tool, possibly a sledgehammer. They left the museum the same way they came in, and then pushed the coin in a wheelbarrow down railway tracks toward a nearby park. Investigators believe the coin was damaged when the thieves then rappelled down from the railway tracks and made their escape in a getaway car. Police suspect the thieves had inside information because they somehow managed to evade all of the museum's security guards and alarms. The museum is refusing to reveal just what security it had in place, and the cops fear the coin has already been melted down and sold. The Tomb of Christ is at risk of catastrophic collapse. The restoration project at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem has recently been completed, but scientists warn that the church may still suffer a catastrophic collapse. The year-long restoration of the edicle in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre was completed on March 22nd. 
However, the restoration revealed that some portions of the shrine's foundation actually sit on the rubble from earlier buildings and unexplained tunnels and voids. Meanwhile, the foundation mortar of the structure has crumbled due to long-term exposure to moisture. To address the risk of collapse, scientists at the National Technical University of Athens are proposing a 10-month project that would cost 6 million euros. The project would involve removing the fractured foundation and installing a drainage system around the perimeter of the rotunda, 